G'day guys, I'm Elvin Pyle here from Adventuring Pals and in this video I'm doing a review on my Brass Monkey fridge that I've been running for almost three years now. So if you want to find out all about it, hang tight and let's get into it. Actually, before I get into the video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this thing out quickly and put it on a table so you guys can get a better look. And also, I've had this thing off recently because I've just given it a good clean. And so what I'll do is I'll plug it in at the start of this video and then by the end of the video, we'll see how long it's been and how much it's cooled down. All right, let's get into it. Right guys, so I've just turned it on, it's 10 past 1 now. See so when I finish this um, review and see how much it's cooled down. So right now the fridge is on 21 degrees. We'll see what it's like when we finish. So getting into it straight away, this is the cheapest dual zone fridge freezer I know of on the market. It's about $450 to buy. And like I said, it's a, it's a proper dual zone. So it's actually got a split in the middle. This thing here splits the middle and you can have one side as freezer and one side as fridge and that's how I run it in my U. I normally have the freezer set to about minus 12 and the fridge to about 3 degrees. I'll put this back in so that the fridge and freezer function becomes available because once you take it out it just becomes one big fridge as you might imagine. So I'll just quickly turn that freezer and fridge and set the temperatures to what I normally have it as. Okay guys, so I bought this in December of 2018 and it has been sitting in the back of one of my U canopies since then running constantly taking it up to cape york tasmania all around australia because we are actually traveling around australia with our kids in a caravan while you know, while they're not in school yet but actually i got to mention that this is actually the second fridge that i've had so after the first year in december of 2019 the original fridge that i had bought was playing up in the, in the intense summer heat of queensland the canopy was really hot i didn't have any insulation on there so and it was and the fridge just didn't get down to temperature so that brings me to the next point, which is customer service. I took that fridge into J car straight away, chucks it on his bench top, plugs it in. Five minutes later, goes, yeah, nah, something's wrong here. It's not dropping quick enough. And he gave me a brand new one out of the box. Simple as that. So I think that goes to show that at least the customer service from J car, which is where I bought this from, and I think you can buy it from RTM as well, is excellent. You can't beat that, hey. So I'm going to point out a couple of things that I don't really like about the fridge. But, you know, to be honest, if I think really hard about it, it's not really that much of a of a negative. But anyway, we'll get started. And one thing is straight away, there's no actual physical latches on the fridge. It's just, it just relies on the clamping together, just from the pressure of the, 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 the moulds. And initially I thought that, oh, that can't be too good. But you know what? It hasn't actually been an issue at all. If you put my hand around there, I can't really feel much cold coming out. So, and the other thing is the seal. Looking at the seal, I wouldn't have thought it's very sufficient, but to be honest, it hasn't really been an issue. Another thing is the keypad control pad here. There's no way to actually lock it, or not that I've found anyway. And that has been an issue for me every now and then because the fridge is mounted straight onto the floor of my canopy, no sliders, anything like that. And quite often I have to reach over it and when my arm hits the pad, I can change temperatures or even worse has happened to me before, I turned one of the sections off and it actually took me a while to work out what I had done. I just thought one side stopped working. So now that I've mentioned a few of the cons, let's get into the pros. Well, for the price I pay for it, it's been a really good fridge. Like I said, it's been sitting in the back of my ute. Yes, there's been two different fridges, but constantly since I've bought it, been running all the time. Every now and then I'll turn it off to clean it out and that's about it. Like I turned it off the other day to clean it out so I can get some nice b-rolls of the inside so that's not filthy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, apart from that, it just sits in there and does its job, but I don't really have to think about it. A quick run through of my 12 volt setup is just that I've got a 100 amp hour lithium battery, which I got from JCAR2 and that at the same time in 2018. And then I've got a another JCAR special uh, 20 amp DC to DC charger. And then just recently, only in this December, uh, I ended up getting a 160 watt solar panel. Just the King's one, just to keep it going. And when there's nice sunny days like this, it'll keep it going 24-7, no dramas at all. It keeps the battery going, keeps the fridge going. When you get a cloudy day, that's when you gotta start worrying about it. And even then, if the battery is fully charged and the freezer and fridge is stocked up already and already to temperature, I can probably go about two, three days easily without without um, dropping voltage enough where, it'll, where the fridge will cut out. Hang on, hang on a sec. This is why it's taking me so long to film this video. The boys are out at the front of the car having a fish 
and uh, every now and then they keep catching fish and then I gotta bait them up and all that anyways so guys I'm not really gonna go into the specs of the fridge I'm not really here to give you a sales pitch I'm just giving you an idea of what it's like to live with this thing see if, see if it's worthwhile your hard-earned cash so I guess that's it that's all I got to say about this fridge is really good does the job good warranty on it of course there's much better fridges out there that'll cost you a lot more money for, for the price and uh, they can go past this thing almost forgot time is now 136 fridge is on three degrees Freezer is on, fridge is on three degrees, freezer is on minus three degrees, uh, so that's what, 26 minutes, I think that's not too bad. So that doesn't mean that it can put your stuff in the fridge and it'll drop down to that cold already. So what I would do is if you're stocking up a fridge, if you've got it turned off and you're getting ready to go on a, on a weekend away, check your fridge on inside the house or in your car, whatever is easy for you, let it get down to temperature and then throw cold food in there already. That way you won't have such a, such a heat mass going into the fridge where it has to work really hard to get it down again it doesn't really matter so much if you're at home on 240 but on your battery it might make the difference hopefully you find that video helpful guys if you uh, did give it a thumbs up and um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel consider subscribing to the channel I've got a heap of reviews and stuff already and like I said before this uh, channel is about our family's travels while we are working and caravanning around Australia and our big lap around Australia we are actually working and traveling we've been doing it for three years now so if that sounds like something you might be interested in subscribe to the channel and check out some of our videos we've got over 80 videos on the channel now anyways hope you guys have a good day and we'll see you next time